Yeah, sure. I, um, so I work as the director of the Indian Teacher Education Program, and uh, uh, the Indian Teacher Education Program, ITEP, is, uh, was started in 1972 uh, off the heels of um, the uh, red paper, off the heels of Trudeau's white paper, and uh, started as a means to start creating um, a pathway to Indian control of Indian education. Um, so in our program, uh, we uh, train teachers uh, in a four-year uh, Bachelor of Education degree program, mm -hmm. and they leave here certified uh, to teach in K-12 education with a focus on uh, First Nation culture, language, and tradition, and um, really trying to foster and uh, live by that mandate of Indian control of Indian, ed Indian education. You know, we have... Um, <clears throat> we have... Uh, a huge success rate in our program and the aim of it is really to create those teachers that are thinking through an indigenous lens they're going back into their communities with uh, armed with certification uh, to go and teach uh, um, our children in K-12 incorporating their own um, cultural irrelevant cultural uh, knowledge their relevant cultural language uh, from where they are and using that and um, you know, really making education relevant to uh, to our kids. That's the aim of it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the end, the end of it is that they get a Bachelor of Education degree from the University of Saskatchewan. We have a lot of work. I, You know, this is about uh, the Indian Teacher Education Program. And um, I work here, and I'm also an alumni of this program. And one of the things that I hear uh, constantly uh, from alumni that come through there, for, through here, that are living successful lives, that are making a difference in their family, that are the first graduates of a university. One of the things they say to me, and, and I could say as well, is I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for ITEP. Um, people, our own people, as well as non-Indigenous people, tend to um, devalue our programs uh, when they're Indigenous. They tend to say that they're Mickey Mouse, uh, that they're Cracker Jack degrees, uh, that they're not as um, rigorous or not as strong as uh, regular um, non-Indigenous programs. And um, that that's a myth. That's false. That's, uh, that's just not true uh, because I'm a product of that. And uh, throughout my master's, uh, throughout my PhD, um, I was able to, you know, uh, think at the same level, if not further, because of my indigeneity. Um, as, as, as just like everybody else. And the foundation of my academics started in the Indian Teacher Education Program. Creating space is what we do in Indigenous programming at university. Uh, and creating space is the first important part in all of this. Um, indigenous people that come into programs, into universities where there's no space created, they get swallowed up by the system. And... Uh, Universities like uh, the University of Saskatchewan, the University of uh, Trent University, or Simon Fraser, or UBC, or U of M, or whatever it is, university that exists in North America was never built with the vision of having Indigenous people be successful in there. Um, this place is 100 years old, and 100 years ago they didn't envision... Uh, you know, 70 teachers graduating per year out of my program, uh, First Nation Indian teachers. So <clears throat> this is uh, this is a phenomenal piece for all of us. This is what uh, what I feel that's uh, a huge important part of uh, that I wanted to share is I wanted to share that our programming is strong. Uh, we're producing amazing teachers with insights and knowledge that uh, that floors me and uh I'm excited about that. I'm excited for our kids. I'm excited for uh, our schools. If they can enter into a school where they can flourish with the knowledge that they're gaining in our programs and, and it goes further, um, watch out. You know, that's, uh, uh, that's, our, that's, that's what's going to happen. Uh, so when our teachers enter, enter into our school systems, um, enter into these places. We need to foster that knowledge. Uh, we need to take out the uh, workbooks. We need to take out the uh, uh, repetitive uh, 
residential school model of education and authoritarianism and take that out and teach our children like uh, our grandparents and our ancestors taught us. And that was uh, through story, through knowledge and uh, sharing. You know, we, uh, from my own perspective, from my own thought process, Indigenous education is, uh, it's the original education of this land and this territory that we're walking and breathing on. It's the, uh, it's the stories of uh, our trickster. It's the uh, knowledge of the land and the, uh, where the moss grows. It's the knowledge of the stars. It's uh, the knowledge of the animals. It's our relationship to all, of, all living things. It's really Indigenous education is, um, moves so far beyond uh, the four walls of a, a Saskatchewan curriculum. It moves so far beyond any, any school that exists that we, like, label an education system. Uh, indigenous education is what um, has kept us resilient. It's what kept us uh, alive all these years. And uh, for me, my understanding, my thought process around what it is, is really that uh, knowledge that existed here for thousands of years. That's what it is. I've, um, for myself, I, uh, I've been a teacher and I've been an administrator in our schools, um, experience on reserve, um, in the provincial school system, and internationally working in education. And what I found was a, uh, uh, what, what is happening in education right now is that uh, we have what, what's, what we've termed as Indian control of colonial education. Uh, so we are uh, indigenous people, we're, we're First Nation people, we're Cree, we're, uh, we're Dakota, Nakota, Lakota, we're uh, Anishinaabe, we're standing in front of the class teaching a colonial system of education. My goal and what I'd like to see is that stopping, that we foster and harness and, val and uh, value our indigenous ways and teach those in the classroom, that we, um, that we escape the confines of a textbook or a classroom and uh, we graduate to uh, the knowledge that existed here that is beautiful, amazing, and powerful, and we enter that somehow uh, through our own lens, and that's, um, that's what it is. That's the goal that, uh, that I have for our people, is to um, take back that education system and have really true Indian control of Indian education.